Are you confused as heck about supplements and vitamins? Have no idea what to take or even if you should take them at all? I get you. I was, in, I was probably that way for years. And this video is one of the most requested videos I've had for well over a couple of years. I'm very overdue in making it. I am shooting this video to explain all of the supplements that I take that have helped me to get the greatest health and fitness and weight loss results that I've had in my adult life. And I'm going to explain my top recommendations for the supplements that I think you should be taking and explain the supplements that my doctor has me taking with the full disclosure, of course, that I'm not a doctor. You should always consult with your doctor, of course, um, with regards to vitamins and supplements. Um, but certainly, I'm a full believer that vitamins and supplements can be making a huge difference in your life, hence why I'm making this video to help you get started in the right direction. So. Therefore, let's get started on this video, giving you some guidance and direction on vitamins and supplements and how they can help you on your health and fitness journey. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, confidence coach, serial entrepreneur, and most recently, keto convert. And like you, as I said in the beginning of this video, for years, I probably too had many questions about supplements, about vitamins, what to take, what not to take, is this a waste of my time? In fact, there were several years, even most recently, probably about a year or so ago, I fell completely off the wagon. I wasn't taking any of my supplements and spoiler alert, <laughs> my body suffered. That's why I'm back on the supplement and vitamin bandwagon and I'm gonna just tell you the difference that it's made in my life. That's why I'm a full believer and I will never fall off that bandwagon again. That's why I'm making this video. That's why we're here to talk about it. So let's get started. Let's talk vitamins. Let's talk supplements. Are you ready? You guys know the drill. You know what I'm gonna say. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that cute little bell button so that you're notified whenever I put a new video out here on The Kelly O Show. Okay guys, welcome back. And you know what I'm gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna make a declaration here at the beginning of this video. So the last video that I made, I pulled a Moses of a Kelly. And by that, what I mean is Moses, <laughs> I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of like the, the 10 commandments and that movie that's like a gargantuan, a, a gargantuan length movie. I recorded my last video and um, you guys know I'm a talker, and, and if you've been watching my videos here for a long time, you know that I can talk for a long time. And most of you that have been subscribed to me for a long time, you prefer that. I have tried to put out short videos in the past, and I got criticized for it. So I know that most of you that have been subscribed to The Kelly O Show for a long time, you prefer longer videos. I get that. but. <laughs> My last video, one of the things that I realized is I have to do better now that I've relaunched this channel and I'm back to producing videos is I've just got to be a better planner with, with my video production and that means I'm, I've got to be more organized and uh, better at reigning in my thoughts. So I just want to let you know. We are talking about supplements today, and I am not going to make this a two-hour mini-series video. So you have my commitment on that. Do you think I can stick to it? Do you think that we can stick to it? I think that we can. So what is the purpose of my video? I want to, again, of course I have my legally binding disclosure down in the comments below, but I do want to tell you again, the purpose of my video today is informational. I, I mean, this video is for all of you out there who are completely confused about supplements and vitamins. You're on a fitness journey and you're probably thinking like, you know, I, I don't get it. Do supplements really work? Is this just a waste of my money? Is, you know, are they really going to do anything for me? And maybe you're confused. Maybe some of you think that supplements just refer to things like diet pills and fat burners. Um, maybe some of you don't realize that, you know, under the, to me, you know, under the umbrella of supplements, 
you're going to see, like I'm talking about things like vitamins, things like herbs and, and the fiber that we put in our coffee. Um, I'm talking about like the exogenous ketones that I take every day. I'm talking about the bioidentical hormones that I take. I'm talking about um, some of the things that I do take that aid in fat loss, but are not necessarily like, you know, thermogenics that are going to jack you up all the time. Um, there's, a, there's a whole big umbrella uh, of a big umbrella uh, under which to me things like vitamins and supplements can fall under and for me they absolutely are what I have found in my life things that will greatly enhance your health and your wellness and greatly enhance your fitness journey are they things, the, these things that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you everything I take on a daily basis, most of which I would say the vast majority of these things are things that both my husband and I take. Um, I would say with the exception of, you know, you know, like some of these things are things that my doctor specifically has prescribed for me, my functional medicine doctor. And so those are things that, you know, like there are certain supplements my doctor prescribes for me, there are certain supplements that, my, that his doctor prescribes for him. In those cases, we don't take the same things, but generally speaking, he and I take the same things. Um, so I'm gonna go over everything we take on a day-to-day -day basis, but I, I do want to share this with you because um, again, based on my experience, I have seen that when I've fallen off the wagon, like I shared with you at the beginning of this video, um, unintentionally, I, I didn't, I didn't have a conscious decision where I said, you know what, screw it. I don't feel like spending the money. I'm just going to not take this stuff. It was never a conscious decision. It was simply, it happened when I moved from Austin to San Antonio, I got out of my good habits. I think it just happened to be that when I moved, I was, you know, I was used to where I stored my supplements. I was used to how I took them out of my cabinet every morning next to my refrigerator. It was a certain habit and I got out of it. And, and it just goes to show you how habit and, and getting yourself and your mind into a routine and all of that, it can be so beneficial. And then you get out of that habit. And all that said, when I got out of the habit of taking my supplements, a lot of bad um, side effects started coming back into my life. A lot of stomach problems, headaches, um, gut issues, uh, skin problems. A lot of things came creeping back into my life. No bueno. And let me tell you, now that I'm back to religiously taking my, you know, doing what I did before, this is what I do. And I'll explain that again when I get to that point. But sorry about that. Um, when I set out my, my two ramekins with my supplements and my vitamins and I take these two times a day, I don't get headaches. I don't have bloating. I sleep better. I don't have, you know, the skin itching and the dry, the drier skin. Um, everything is better in my life. Um, certainly I've never had a problem taking my bioidenticals. Um, that's prescription. That's from my doctor. But um, my weight loss has been... <laughs> phenomenal this year because of my doctor guiding me and, and just everything has been better when, you know, it's just like everything. Consistency, persistency, it works. Okay, let's get started with a baseline. Um, my bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. Um, again, this is obviously um, something that is prescribed for me by my functional medicine doctor. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this ad nauseum. I am going to link up to the playlist here uh, for my hormones. Uh, I've got a hormone playlist and several videos that you guys should be watching um, on my channel that with relation to uh, my hormone experience and going on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. But you guys know I feel very strongly about this and I've linked down below in the comments uh, for any of you that are new to this, you absolutely want to go. If you haven't done so yet, your first step is for you to go out and get comprehensive blood work done, get yourself to see a functional medicine doctor. 
If you don't have a functional medicine doctor, my doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper, is located in Austin, Texas. She is taking uh, new patients. She can take you. She does telemedicine. I've never seen her in person, and she has changed my whole life. Um, I'm in San Antonio. She's in Austin. I've only seen her via telemedicine. She's exceptional. So what do I take for my hormones? I take all of these are pills that I dissolve under the tongue every morning. So I take progesterone. Estri estradi estradiol, I hope I'm saying that correctly, testosterone. I take uh, low-dose naltrexone every night. I take T3, T4 every morning. Um, forgive me, this is from my neurologist. This is a preventative migraine, so I shouldn't have been talking about that. Um, so testosterone, progesterone, uh, estradiol, T3, T4 in the morning, that's for my thyroid, and low-dose naltrexone. So all of that is what is prescribed for my thyroid. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up for you is so many women, and I'm not going to get into any further detail on this, go watch my other videos on hormones um, because so many women will go see an OBGYN or an endocrinologist or, or whatever, and they're prescribed progesterone only or thyroid only, and they wonder why they're not seeing any progress you need to be on quite a lot of, I hesitate to say drugs, um, bioidenticals to be addressing all of the things underneath your, your skin, all of the hormones, not just progesterone, not just your thyroid. So those are all the things that I'm on as far as, as, far as prescription supplements, if you will, that's what I'm calling them. Um, and then I will address the supplements that I'm on next uh, that my doctor told me to take for my hormones. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go in order of the, the day, okay? So first thing in the morning, before I've even had my coffee, um, the next thing that I do, and this is something that both my husband and I take. Now this is relatively new. We've only been on the Modere stuff for I would say probably about two and a half months. But both my husband and I are taking the liquid collagen and also the, uh, the trim. Now, what we do is we take a tablespoon of the trim. It's like this chocolate pudding. It is freaking delicious. I actually look forward to this every morning. You probably see people all over the internet taking this stuff. Um, I am a rep, by the way, for this, uh, for this uh, company, so you can order this from me. I will put a link down below. Of course, if you want and you have any questions, um, they have an extensive line of product. They have skincare, all kinds of stuff. You can email me. We can set up a call. I'm happy to answer any questions. There's other flavors of this product. There's lemon, there's coconut mango, there's, um, I'm sorry, coconut lime, mango, there's other flavors, but I think lemon and chocolate are the most popular. But what we do is we put a whole bunch of this chocolate pudding on a spoon. And then what we do is we add this uh, Axis Trebiotic, which if you can see that, this is like pre prebiotic, probiotic on steroids. So this is like, I, I tell Steve, I'm like, I feel like we're having a mini acai bowl in the morning. And he's like, whatever, Kelly. Well, so we put this on top of the the chocolate pudding. So like this is chocolate pudding. Put that on your spoon and then you put that on top of it. You take a big yummy spoonful. I look forward to it every morning. So we take this, which has CLA in it, and this. This is the number one weight loss product in the country. And I will tell you this, without question, um, I'm one of those people who is typically, um, I'm gonna typically hear about something that's a weight loss product and go, you know? Um, the reason that I purchased some of these products is because I heard about the liquid collagen. I heard a bunch, I'd seen a bunch of my friends buying the liquid collagen for probably the past year. My friend Heidi Powell, my friend Kyla Kraft, all of my friends online had been, had been featuring this and I'd see it on YouTube, I'd see it on Instagram. And finally I was like, okay, why, I'm the only one that's not buying this stuff. So about two and a half, three months ago, I finally caved in and I ordered, it's not that difficult for me to cave in. And I ordered some of the liquid collagen and I bought it. And then I remember I reached out to my friend Lisa, who incidentally is also the reason, you guys have seen me link to her, she's the reason I went keto. And I reached out to her and I just started taking just the collagen. 
and I'm like, hey, are you taking this, you know, Modere, like collagen stuff? And she's like, oh my God, Kelly, I just can't believe it's so amazing. You know, she doesn't talk like that, but she was basically like, you know, raving about it. She's like, you will not. And she just was sending me all these pictures of her hair growing like Rapunzel. So let me give you two things because fast forward to me, I'm like, okay, I really need to take this stuff. So I went and I ordered the trim and I ordered a bunch more. Well, basically I signed up as a rep that day, ordered this big package of the Modere stuff. And I'm, I'm just, that's just the way I am. I'm all in. I just, I went with my gut. And um, I have been taking this and the trim and then I, we just started taking this stuff on top of it probably about two weeks ago. Um, I, you guys, if you've been following me, I got my hair cut. I used to have it down to about here. I cut my hair in a bob two months ago. Okay, if I had a Bible here, I would swear on it. Cut my hair in a bob two months ago, probably right about the time I started taking the liquid collagen or right thereafter. I have had to go get my hair cut to keep it in this perfect bob because my hair was growing so fast. So you see how the bob is here in the back and you don't want it to, to go where it's going down and going, you know, where it's going longer. You want it there. My hair is growing so fast on this liquid collagen and I will get a quote from Stephanie who cuts my hair. I've gone to get my hair cut two times in two months and we've cut two inches off my hair both times in two months. That's four inches, people, in two months. Okay, quote me on that. Four inches of hair off this head in two months from the liquid collagen. That's me taking this two times a day. Hello. Let me tell you something, point two. We're talking about supplements working. I'm sorry, I didn't intend to go this crazy, but I'm just putting it out there because I'm feeling it and, and I'm just gonna preach. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that last week I hadn't weighed myself in a while and I hadn't taken my measurements in a while. And I had been previously, like the last time I'd taken my measurements and the last time I'd weighed myself, I was kind of hovering at 147. And I also had just been, I just been kind of staying at the same place. And I thought, I'm just gonna take my measurements or whatever. And I hadn't gotten my workouts back going and I'm a little embarrassed about that just hadn't gotten my workouts I mean, we're talking about like me getting one workout in a week you guys it's embarrassing you guys know I'm a fitness freak right like Kelly Alexa has not gotten her workout game going going back up so haven't gotten the workout game going strong yet have not changed my diet last week I go in and the night before I don't know what I did. Oh, I got my new keto crate box. <laughs> I had a lot of carbs the night before. So I was a little paranoid. I hop on the scale, 144. I'd lost three more pounds. I go to measure myself. I'd lost 2.5 more inches. So almost three more inches. So I have now lost a total of 20 pounds. I am six pounds away from my goal weight. I've lost 30 inches and 20 pounds. And I said to Steve that morning, I'm like, how, what, what could have made me accelerate more fat loss when I haven't even worked out, I haven't changed anything in my diet. I said, it has to be that this is helping. It has to be because I haven't done anything else. I'm just putting that out there, you guys. This is not a paid endorsement. I'm not being paid by anybody but myself. Thank you for listening to Kelly Alexa talk about her experience. So I'm just telling you guys, this is my opinion. The facts are the facts are the facts. So uh, that's what we start off our morning with. We also take another serving of this at night. So we only do this in the morning. I wish I could take it again at night. It tastes that yummy, but you're only supposed to take it once. So we start off our morning with that. Then I make my coffee, um, which I make, I guess you could consider that a supplement too, because that's going to, I'm going to kind of chime right into my, my ketones.
because when I make my coffee, I make my um, Prove It. Um, I should have brought that over here, damn it. But I'm just gonna have to allude to it. Um, I make my keto cream coffee and you guys have seen me drinking this earlier in the video. This is not my coffee. This is my uh, ketones. So you guys have heard me talking about this in several of other videos. But one of the things I swear by and I am crazy evangelistic about, and this is also another company I'm a rep for because I'm crazy about them. So these are exogenous ketones. This is what I was just drinking. Um, this is, so they basically have three products. Maybe there's one other one because there's something they make in a can. I haven't tried it yet. No, there's also bone broth. So there's four. Um, exogenous ketones, you basically put water in a glass, you add the powder and you mix it up. This, these are electrolytes. I have started to take these now that I'm starting to run again. Um, and I was starting to get leg cramps and my upline told me that I need to be taking electrolytes, especially when you're on a low carb diet. Um, so exogenous ketones, I can't speak strongly enough about how, um, crazy they work. Um, again, that's something you guys have heard me talk about before. I was super skeptical. Um, I heard about Prove It ketones and exogenous ketones when the company first came out from my last doctor in 2017. And back then the company only had about one flavor. I tried it. I didn't like the taste. I didn't, my doctor was trying to get me to be paleo back then. I was not paleo. I tried it. I was like, I don't like the taste. I don't like this. I'm not paleo. What? I don't get it. Everybody was raving about it saying, oh my God, you'll have so much clarity of thought. You'll have so much focus. You have so much energy. And they were talking about all this stuff. And I was like, I'm hearing a lot of this and I want to hear this. And I didn't get it. It wasn't for me. It was not the right timing. Fast forward to this year. I was right before I went keto, I was doing my research, found a bunch of I was trying to look for people on Instagram who were keto, who were living the keto lifestyle. I found all these people and they had, <laughs> I literally found people that were doing keto and they all had jars like this and they were drinking stuff. And I'm like, what is this stuff they're drinking? And they were all drinking prove it ketones. And I was like, what the hell? Well, then my friend Jenny was involved with the company and she introduced me to the president, Blake. And now he and I are friends and I'm a, I'm a rep. And here's the thing, you guys, the truth is when I first ordered, when, when I first looked up the company and I saw they had all these flavors, this is what I thought. I'm like, I was drinking a lot of diet soda during the day at the time. And my first thought was, okay, I'm going to order some of these flavors. And if, if I order these like glass jars, I swear to God, this is what I was thinking. I thought if I order these glass jars and this stuff tastes like crystal light, cause it, I remember it was all natural. It didn't have any artificial flavors and all that kind of stuff in it. And I thought if this stuff tastes good and it's, it's good for me and it's going to help my brain and all of that. But if it just tastes good and it makes me drink water more in the day, I'm good. Like that's what I thought. I know that's really dumb, but that was what was going through my head. I ordered them. I started drinking them right the week after I went keto, June 1st. So I ordered them June 1st, started drinking them around June 9th. Let me just tell you, without question, I can't say this strong enough, and I'm putting a dramatic pause in here on purpose. This stuff, in the most dramatic way I can emphasize this, curbs your appetite like you cannot even understand curbs your cravings like you cannot understand. There are times I do intermittent fasting. So in the morning, like I'll have a cup of coffee. I have my keto cream coffee and then I don't eat anything until lunch. Occasionally I'll have a hunger pang that's really bad where it's almost hurting me. Not, not normally. Normally it doesn't bother me to be hungry until lunch, but sometimes you'll get one of those hunger pangs where you're like, I better eat something, but I don't want to. I want to just, you know, coast until lunch. Sometimes when the hunger pang is so bad, all I do, so I was just telling Steve this the other day, I just go and I'll make this earlier than, than normal or I'll make an extra one if I've had one earlier. If I have a few sips, the hunger, it, it's just, it's gone. 
the, it's, it's an ingredient called beta hydroxybutrate. Okay. So do some Googling. If you want to look it up, that's what it is. Sorry, it's just really good. Anyway, this will curb your appetite, changes your cravings, suppresses your appetite, excuse me, curbs your cravings, gives you energy, clean, not jittery energy. Um, my husband takes these too. He is not keto. Um, before I started taking these, I was having a real problem and, and I, I really felt like I was getting adrenal fatigue again in my life where I thought, I, I mean, I didn't think. I was having right about two o'clock, it's 3.30 as I'm taping this. Um, every day about two o'clock, I was having to go into my bedroom, set my alarm for half an hour and take a nap. And then I would wake up and still need to take another nap for another half an hour and then want another nap. I mean, I was that tired every single day and it was every single day and I was really thinking, I'm getting adrenal fatigue again. And ever since I've taken the ketones, I swear to God, I have not had to take a nap. The only time I've ever had a day where I thought I'm really tired during the day, it's the day that I haven't taken my ketones. I swear to God. If there's ever a day where I find myself walking to that pantry and just looking in the pantry going, oh, I want something. It's the day that I haven't taken my ketones. I swear to you. And ever since I've gone keto, I've been, I've been keto for five months. I've had these amazing results. I don't snack. My entire, my entire way of eating has changed. I don't snack at night. I don't snack during the day. I don't crave foods. I don't binge. Everything has changed. But the, the few days that I haven't gotten my ketones in, I find that I'm like, I'm tired or I, I do. I just find myself like kind of going, oh, I want some more nut butter. It's just, it's amazing how much of a help this is. And, and then how much better I focus during the day. Like everything I heard about four years ago, people talking about and raving about, and here was me on the other end, like, sure it is, whatever. I was like, Miss Snake Oil, it's not, it works. Okay, <laughs> moving, 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 moving on out. Okay, we gotta move it fast. I told you about uh, the first thing that we had, the Modera, I told you about the ketones, I told you about my bioidenticals. The other thing I forgot to tell you about is when I make my coffee, I referenced this earlier, there's two things that I put in our coffee, okay? And this came from my trainer last year um, telling me the importance of fiber. So um, this is a really good brand. You can buy it on Amazon. I will link it down below. Healthy Origins, Healthy Fiber. I actually got my mom on this. This is flavorless. Put one scoop in your coffee, you're getting some fiber, and then also... Tom King, he's the owner of Icon Foods. He told me about prebiotic uh, inulin powder. So I put a scoop of that in my coffee. Again, both of these powders are flavorless, gets you your fiber, particularly if you're going keto. Number one thing a lot of people ask me about when I went keto, they're like, did you get constipated? Did you have you know, gut issues? No, I never did. Um, speaking of gut i have been taking greens and reds for years i have not stopped the brand that i use right now steve takes these as well and by the way um, i do put the fiber in steve's coffee as well so we take the uh, opti greens and opti reds we put these together in a shaker cup i will link these below and then we put l-glutamine in there as well l-glutamine is something my doctor told me uh, to take. It was also something I found in my research. So we put all of these in a shaker cup, uh, mix it all up together. To be honest with you, I don't think that the greens from first form taste very good by themselves. But if you put it together with the reds, it tastes very good. This is flavorless. So if you put that all together, it is really good. Now, we also put this Vita Liver um, in a few drops um, with that. So we mix all of that in together. This is a really, really good supplement and your liver health is really, really key. So if you want, you could put that in with something else, but we just put that in with that and mix it all up. Now, I don't take this, but my husband takes this um, and it is a really, really good supplement for inflammation. Excuse me. I might start taking this again because I'm told that it's also good for people with headaches. Um, strongly recommend it. They have a really good um, program where you can order it, you know, like, 
the more that you order and you get on auto ship and, and they have a discount. Now, I referenced this before. I also order this from First Form. This is the L-carnitine. My doctor, my functional medicine doctor, told me to take this every day. This aids in fat burning. Uh, it's about 40 bucks for two months worth. So I take this mid-morning. Um, just to tell you as far as when I take my ketones. So I take the Moder stuff in the morning um, before my coffee, then I have my coffee. Um, usually we'll have ketones just kind of when I feel like it, like I'll have my first one maybe after my coffee, then I'll come out mid-morning, I'll make my L-carnitine. So I'm having just a whole bunch of liquids in the morning. Um, by the way, I just throw this, the um, electrolytes in with my ketones. I'll have my second ketones mid-afternoon, which is like I'm having one now. Um, I have the greens mid-morning as well. Again, it doesn't matter what order. I'm just having all of those liquids before lunch. I do my workout right about 11 o'clock before lunch, then I have lunch. Now, let's close this up with supplements. So these are the, you guys saw me talk about, you know, the pills. I take pills at lunch, first serving, and then at dinner. Migranol, this is only for prevention of migraines. Multivitamin, I take it two times a day. I mix up the vitamins, so next month I'll choose a different brand. Um, I'm gonna point out when I talk about things that my uh, functional medicine doctor has picked specifically for me. So these are not random things that I've picked. Uh, Boswella, these are things, again, specifically my functional medicine doctor has chosen for me. Um, so when I have her on the show, she'll explain why. Um, Drenamin, that is also something my doctor has chosen for me. Berberine, that's also something my functional medicine doctor. So these are gonna be related to hormones. DIM, this is for people that have a lot of estrogen. I had, I had major estrogen dominance end of last year. Advanced vitamin D, K, that's typically for people that have a, a major uh, vitamin D deficiency, which I did. Um, DHEA, I was deficient in vitamin uh, DHEA. Uh, glucose supplement, I was having ins uh, insulin resistance. CoQ10, this is key for all of you that have headache issues. This is from my neurologist. I take CoQ10 and B2. This is to prevent headaches and um, migraines. So I take this every day. I also take 500 milligrams of magnesium before bed every single night. That also is to prevent migraines. This is allergies. So this has nothing to do with hormones, but this is a really good all natural um, preventative for allergies. Are you guys taking... Um, a digestive enzyme with every meal. You should be, if not. Selenium, anybody who's hypothyroid should be taking selenium. And then this is also Modere. This is, uh, I would refer to, this is also what it would be contributing to uh, my fat loss as well. I take this twice a day. I was not taking this as of two months ago. I just started taking this. And so I would say that this is also definitely working. And then lastly, before bed, my doctor also prescribed this for me. I take two chewables before bed. I think that's it. And hopefully this video is not 200 minutes long. I think I might've actually kept it to a reasonable length, but hopefully you guys, this was helpful. I would love to know what questions you have. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions on what I take, why I take them. Please remember, again, this is simply me sharing my experience with you, but what I will tell you is this based on me going through periods in my life when I wasn't taking um, supplements and when I have taken, been taking supplements and particularly over the past year and a half, as I have gotten religiously consistent, it is a game changer. Particularly as you age, supplements are more and more important. And with the advances in um, bioidentical hormones and peptides, that is the next thing that Steve and I are gonna be looking into. It is incredible what you can do for your health with taking supplements. Can it be a drag sometimes? Yeah. Do I like taking all these pills? Hell no. Would I much rather have like one little drink that I could take? Would I love to liquefy all this into one yummy drink? Absolutely. But is it worth the effects that all of this does? Absolutely. Is it worth the investment? Absolutely. Would, would, I, would I stop taking all of this? Never. That's my answer to you. 
let me know what questions you guys Hey guys, I hope this video was super helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm linking up two playlists for you below. Number one, my playlist on hormones, and number two, my playlist on keto, because that list is ever expanding. And as you know, it is me going keto in addition to getting my hormones fixed that's been the most transformative for me. Have a great one.